Gentleman yields back. Gentlelady from Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Herr, for your testimony today. Um, with all the posturing that we've heard thus far this morning, I think it's important that we refocus and remember the conclusion that you reached on the first page and in the very first sentence of your report, which was, we conclude that no criminal charges are warranted in this matter. Did I read that accurately? You did, Congresswoman. Okay. Your report also says, in addition to this shortage of evidence, there are other innocent explanations for the documents we have not been, that we have not been able to refute. Did I read that correctly? Congresswoman, if you would give me a page citation, I can... Page six. Six. Yes, oh, okay. I see that language on page six. Okay, thank you. Now, in addition to those conclusions, your report details several material distinctions, as you called them, between President Biden's actions and former President Trump's mishandling of classified materials. The facts are that President Biden cooperated with your investigation. Is that correct? He did. And his team notified authorities when they discovered classified documents and he turned them over immediately. Is that correct? Yes. He consented to multiple searches of his home and other properties. Is that correct? Correct. And he voluntarily sat for an interview with you. Is that correct? Correct. But when it comes to Mr. Trump's treatment of classified materials, your report states that, according to the criminal indictment against him, he refused to return classified documents in his possession for many months, despite having multiple chances to do so, and he obstructed justice by enlisting others to destroy evidence and lie about it. Is that correct? Correct. Now, you note in your testimony that the specific comments you made about President Biden's memory have gotten a lot of attention. And as we've seen today, our Republican colleagues are again and again trying to weaponize those comments in a cheap attempt to score political points. But as someone who's participated in trials, you know that witnesses, regardless of age, often have difficulty recalling specific statements or facts when asked about them many years after um, after those facts. So let's take a quick look at a differing witness experiencing a lapse in memory during a deposition. Your next wife was a woman by the name of Marla Maple. Right. And um, sitting here today, do you recall what years you were married to Ms. Maples? Um, I'd have to get the exact dates for you. I can do that. Am I correct that you married your cur current wife in January 2005. I don't know relative to that time. And what years were you the owner of the Paz Hotel? I don't know the years. James Webb. I don't remember the names. I don't remember the name. So you don't remember saying you have one of the best friends? I, the I don't remember that. Okay. I, I, have, I, know, I remember you telling me, but uh, I don't know that I said. So I would also add that Mr. Trump told lawyers, I don't remember, 35 times in his deposition for a lawsuit over Trump University. And in response to questions from special counsel Robert Mueller, he answered, did not remember or could not recall 27 times. Now, uh, Mr. Ho, you've said today that DOJ process and regulations required you to assess whether a jury would find Mr. Biden to be a credible witness, correct? I'm not sure said that I said those words exactly. Um, but, of course, in my view, how a jury would perceive Mr. Biden if he elected to testify uh, in his own defense at a trial, that would be part of the whole ball of wax that jurors sure. would consider in determining whether he had willful intent in retaining or disclosing national defense information. Sure. Do you have any reason to believe that the special counsel who investigated and charged Mr. Trump with willful retention of classified documents would have failed to make an assessment of whether the jury would find Mr. Trump to be a credible witness? I don't, I don't have any information relating to what, um, how, I'm not qualified basically to answer that question as to what went into Mr. Smith's decision making. But you are qualified to say what are the normal procedures followed by a special counsel, correct? I'm familiar with the rules as set forth in the justice manual and my understanding of how to apply them. And in fact, what you did. Correct. Okay. So I would suggest that we can all assume that the fact that Mr. Trump was charged with multiple counts of willfully concealing classified documents suggests that the special counsel in that case determined that Mr. Trump's denials are not credible. Um, at this point, I would ask unanimous consent 
to enter into the record an excerpt from the committee's transcribed, transcribed interview with Stephen D'Antonio, former assistant director in charge of the FBI Washington field office on July 7, 2023, in which he explained the urgency for the FBI to retrieve and secure mm -hmm. classified documents from Donald Trump's estate because they contained national security information that should not be viewed by anyone without the proper security clearance. Even Mr. D'Antonio himself could not view Objection. the documents given their high security clearance, despite being the assistant director in charge of the FBI Washington field office. Thank you. Without I objection, back. General, General Yeade yields back. Gentleman from Oregon is recognized for five minutes.